Boom. All right, how to keep your width in the golf swing. This is probably gonna be one of my best videos ever because I'm gonna explain a couple of things that I have seen now that will make a huge difference. So gonna kind of layer a couple of the videos and I know a lot of you guys follow me, so I love you all. Um, do the two finger drill, the one where you take your pointer finger index, sorry, pointer fingers here, right? And you put it right in this second joint and then put your thumb on it. Remember that little drill that we did? Well, what happens is people were feeling the weight of the club and kind of swinging it like this. And I've had so much more success with keeping people with the width, keeping the same angle. Okay, so when you take these two fingers like this and you swing it out, you'll notice that you've kept the width in your arms. So many people lose their arms and they turn their body and the golf club goes behind them. So when you keep it out here wide, keep the same width as you come down. Now this will be, this is more elliptical and nature and you'll see it Hopefully you can see it pretty quick and clear. Now, it wouldn't make any sense whatsoever to take this and to bring your arm down into your body like everybody teaches you to do. Because from here, now you have to change the angle. See, if I was throwing a ball and my arm was out here, okay? And you guys can play with me and try this and see if, see if you think I'm right or not. So when I'm stepping the throw and my arm angle here, is not even saying the same. When I unwind it, I am not going to bring my elbow down in and then throw. I am throwing and my arm is keeping the same width the whole way. That's what I want you to feel here. I don't want you to think about turning the body. I don't want you to think about driving the legs because the golf brain is a right-sided brain. Every golf lesson I give that is worth a shit and is very successful is all right-side brain. The left-side brain, the analytical brain, loves to understand why, but doesn't make you better at all, like ever. The feel is how you play golf. Feel, images, things of that nature, that's all right-side. So what I'm trying to teach you now is to marry these two with the two fingers. Now, here's what I want you to do. Take the two fingers, keep it wide. Now take the other six fingers that you have and lightly place them. I want you to just touch the grip. I don't want you to squeeze the fingers because when you squeeze the fingers, you're, you're gonna be using muscles in the forearm. Now here is where I've had kind of the aha moment. When I'm teaching people, and they have to do this, you'll see that when I squeeze my muscle in my arm, it forces my left hand to roll, like so. Same thing with the right hand. It'll, it'll force the right hand to go under when you squeeze it. So when you have these fingers on it and these fingers just lightly touch, they just placed on here, they're not squeezing at all. That's why you guys love that feeling of that drill. So lightly touch it, let the golf club go back wide, and you'll see that it's just swinging wide, and it'll swing wide this way. So you'll have a more elliptical looking motion, and the golf club will time itself, and you shouldn't have to think about it. So I want your feel to feel like, and this is why that weight on a string was really good, but even then people try to do that with their hands, and you'll see that they'll roll it this way, right? So I, the, the keeping the, the, the club out wide all the way around is our number one goal to have consistency, club face control, and club head speed, right? So when we do this, and we're just lightly having these two fingers on here, take the other six and just place them on there. Just touch it. Don't think about squeezing it. When you take everything back, it'll be nice and wide, and you come back and it's nice and wide. The difference of it, what I've seen, when I teach people, say for instance, the, the bucket drill. Some people do this pretty good. They go like right here, and the chest move just the right amount, the leg removed just the right amount, but then I see other people do this. Can you see how I shifted more? 
And so it's real easy then to have my head move off the ball. So I see that too. So that's why mirror work and stuff, if you're doing, say, the bucket drill has to happen. But I'm not, I digress. The club face, and when I do that drill or medicine ball, is the arms and the chest are staying the same width the whole way. That's why this is a very successful feel, is because you're not coming here and doing this and this. And no, that's right, if you tuck your elbow, you're wrong, okay, 100%. I know it worked for Hogan. You're not Ben Hogan, okay? And he's not, he wasn't really like this either. He was just more like that, okay? And I know I got a lot of people pissed off about that. Sorry, like this works for him, right? But this is not flying an elbow because the arm and the angle stays the same. So you're keeping the same width as you go and you're keeping a nice wide circle. So you can see that right here, my hands, they don't release this way or nothing. The golf club is coming back and I'm in the exact same angle. Some triple force will square the club face up on its own and it'll come over to the side. And this is something you can see I'm doing it with two fingers. I can just lightly touch the other six. Let the club swing back wide and wide, just like that, okay? This could be your game changer. Share this with as many people as you can. I look forward to working with you. Go check out my website at rkswingking.com. Everybody have a great day.